There's nothing worth more That will ever come close Nothing can compare You are our living hope Your presence I've tasted and seen of the sweetest of love my heart becomes free pleasant good morning to one and all greetings in the fantastic name of our lord and savior jesus christ this is another day that the lord has made and i am so happy 
that we can connect together. Amen. Bless the Lord and we give him, give him thanks. Amen. Bless the Lord. Hallelujah. Let's receive a little more music this morning in Jesus' name. You counted your losses and said whatever. But that's not the way that it works for the children of the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Christ is your shepherd and he's taking care of it all. Greetings, greetings, greetings. Welcome to VPI Victory Place International. Amen. Trinidad. Amen. Bless God. And we give God praise and thanks for just the opportunity to use this platform, use this medium to connect one with the other. Here at VPI, we honor God, we celebrate people, and we aspire to impact the world. Amen. Bless the Lord. Welcome. Welcome to our devotion time. Amen. We are so happy that all of you are here. Amen. Those of you that are joining me on Instagram, good morning to you as well. God bless you. And uh, as per usual, we ask that you start your own watch party, that you share your live experience with somebody else this morning because we believe that these sessions can assist them as well. Bless the name of the Lord. Praise the Lord. Amen. This morning, I really want it is in my heart to 
pray over you amen to pray over your needs pray over your concerns amen in jesus name and we want to take some time to do that today in jesus mighty name amen bless the lord so i am so very happy that you are here marlene good morning and welcome joanna good morning and welcome darlene good morning and welcome norma good morning happy to see you today deborah good morning michelle good morning to you melissa so happy to see you this morning joy samuel kima good morning to you god bless you and welcome laura good morning vicky lady carleen so happy that you are here with us ria good morning to you god bless you nafuta how you doing amen lisa good morning monica welcome welcome cheryl good morning to you angela good morning to you and welcome Gemma. good morning marzian so happy to see you amen on this tuesday morning glory to god eloise good morning to you kerry good morning good morning good morning preacher trust you're doing well amen kathleen gibson good morning to you and welcome lady harris i see you god bless you amen ronald good morning to you my brother amen samantha good morning amen esther good morning nyla amen carol i see you as well lady shirley pope good morning to you ma'am god bless you plenty plenty manuela good morning amy good morning to you and welcome beverly i see you hallelujah to the lamb glory to god natasha i see you i see you amen 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 donet good morning to you celes good morning canis good morning and welcome may the spirit of god continue to embrace you and give you strength and the entire family in this time amen nash good morning to you sis good morning to you and welcome glory to god amen we are just so thankful for all of you that are here jason my brother good morning to you god bless you zyla i see you glory to god good morning al i see you amen angela i see you lady puller i see you amen alice good morning glorian good morning good morning good morning good morning welcome 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 amen bless the name of the lord we are so happy that you guys are here amen uh, you understand uh, we don't take this for granted at all amen debra nelson good morning to you marilyn good morning virginia we don't take it for granted amen lawrence my brother good morning to you welcome 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 bless the lord like i said um today i really sense it in my heart you know i would like to take some time and pray over your needs and pray over your concerns amen bless lord in fact our theme today i will just share for a little while and then we will go into prayer our theme is jesus can help jesus can help glory to god it's a very simplistic theme but very profound jesus can help and i have prayed and sought the lord to share with you this morning as i do all the time and there are many of you right here this morning glory to god amen that have immediate needs that require help amen bless the lord and the lord heard your prayer sees your heart and i believe this morning that you are going to receive the kind of help that you desire in jesus name amen bless the lord jill jostling good morning or jostling yes i think that's it good morning everybody i want you to help me welcome jill amen this is her first time jill good morning to you god bless you and welcome welcome and every other first timer amen we welcome you to our program amen bless the lord god bless you we trust that these programs amen will be beneficial to you so our theme this morning jesus can help i am reading an account in the book of mark mark chapter 9 from verse 20 down to verse 23 a very familiar account amen and it says this and they brought him unto him and when 
he saw him straightway the spirit tear him and he fell on the ground and wallowed foaming and he asked his father how long is it ago since this came unto him and he said of a child amen and oftentimes it had cast him into the fire and into the waters to destroy him but if those can do anything have compassion on us and help us glory to god jesus said unto him if those canst believe all things are possible to him that believeth glory to god our theme is jesus can help i want to begin this morning sharing with you amen what can only be a testimony from a very dear friend of mine about a month of month ago amen he called me and we were talking and he was saying in fact amen he had what some may have um, interpreted to be like a, a kind of stroke like situation amen and was taken to hospital bless the lord and um when they did all the tests and so on they found out that he had a heart condition and he told me bless god that he had to do what they call a triple bypass surgery and when uh, he went for the assessment and so on they told him that it will take several months before he can be attended to because of the backlog of surgeries that needed to be done at the facility and so he told me well the only thing to do because of the urgency of the matter was for him to find a private medical institution to get the procedure done and um it was costing him upwards of two hundred thousand dollars tt money plus and so he said to me he didn't know how he was going to raise that money but he was trusting god and i began to pray amen bless god and um, we began to pray and others amen his family members and his church members began to pray amen putting this situation in the hand of jesus looking to jesus to help bless god he called me last week and announced to me that amen he got a call from the institution and they told him that they were prepared to do the surgery last tuesday which already was miraculous because of the backlogs that was there and the timeline that they gave him amen initially that this could be done so god in his miraculous way shift things around and favored him amen bless god so that the surgery could be brought forth amen in less than a week time my brothers and sisters he went in and did the surgery on last week tuesday and amen he told me because we spoke yesterday amen bless god that day i was told that the surgery went well and he was in recovery two days later amen bless god he was talking he had articulation amen bless god and was able to move and breathe on his own and all of that he was supposed to be discharged from the hospital today but he has been out and at his house since i believe on saturday somewhere there about my brothers and sisters when we look at the entire situation the gravity of the problem amen bless god the amount of resource that was needed if he had to go to a private institution the way amen his matter was brought forth amen the timeline with which the procedure was done seven hours it took for them to do the procedure amen bless god this surgery was successful the time at which amen the rapidity of his recovery all i can see amen and he told me yesterday he said i have given you the copyright to make this a testimony because i know that we prayed for him last week as well the day before he went into the surgery 
Bless the Lord that he announced, bless God, that he is, amen, doing well. All things considered that God has done a fantastic thing, that Jesus Christ indeed helped. And so, amen, I'm sharing this with you to let you know this morning that the same Jesus that helped our brother, amen, last week and the week before is the same Jesus that is here this morning. The same Jesus that we are talking about, preaching about, and singing about is the same Jesus. And I know that there are many of you this morning that have concerns. You have some situations, you have some needs, you have some matters that require urgent attention. This Jesus that we are talking about can help. He can help in Jesus' name. The story, amen, bless God, you are familiar with. It is a man that has a son that suffers from what we can now call like an epileptic attack. But it was a spiritual disease. Glory to God. And this disease, amen, when you get these attacks, it doesn't matter where you are. Amen. It doesn't matter what the circumstances are as it is as in been as is being described whether it's close to fire whether it's close to water whatever the attacks will come from a child amen he has this problem this father comes amen and meets the disciples brings the child to the disciples and the disciples could not help glory to god and so amen there was a conversation taking place and jesus asked what is this conversation about and they were saying well lord you know the man came and said i have this problem amen black on and i need help he said listen Amen. Would you have compassion on us and help us if you can in Jesus name. And we know the story how Jesus, amen, did what he did, cast out the spirit from the child and the child was made whole. My brothers and sisters, these stories that we read in the gospels. Some people don't believe them. Amen. Bless God. Some think that they are just stories, but they are in fact, amen, bless God, accounts that took place. And these gentlemen that wrote them, whether it be Mark, whether it be Luke, whether it be John, whether it be Matthew, they are all eyewitnesses of these things. And I'm saying to you that Jesus, amen, back then did these things and still is able to do these things today. Glory to God. Amen. Bless God. We have numerous testimonies of what Jesus did. I can tell you, amen, even in my own, my own situation, my own experience, I remember I was preaching in a church, amen, bless God, in the Arima area. And um, bless God, they brought to me this x-ray, amen. This young lady bought this x-ray. She had a growth, amen, bless God, in her stomach area as large as a grapefruit, bless the Lord. And she showed me the x-ray and it was causing problems, obviously. And I remember laying hands upon her in the name of jesus christ and told her she need to go back and check on this and she brought back the x-ray to me to let me see that the entire mass dissipated amen because of the power of our lord and savior jesus christ i can tell you my brothers and sisters in the island of antigua Amen. A lady brought a toddler. This child could have been maybe about four or five years old. This child was playing on the bed and fell from the bed and hit his head on the concrete floor. And somehow, amen, bless God, when they took the child to the doctor, the doctor reported that the brain had shifted somehow. And it was going to bring tremendous damage to the child growing up. It will impact, amen, the intellectual capacity of the child and the child's ability to be normal thereafter. Amen. And she came with the child in her hand and said to me, Pastor, this is what the doctor said. And I remember, amen, bless God, that we there, we laid hands on that child in Jesus' name. And God did a miracle, amen, according to her. The child has been restored completely and is functioning as he was designed to function. Glory to God, my brothers and sisters. In the, in the, in the village of Bish, 
I remember standing under the canopy of heaven and praying for a gentleman that was stricken with uh, abdominal cancer colon cancer amen i went to the hospital to see him amen but did not pray that pray at the hospital amen and jesus reminded me and told me to stand there amen in the street corner and pray for him amen although i was not in the physical space the following year i went back to that same place amen bless god and i remembered uh, that situation and as I asked them what about this man that I prayed and they pointed to me the man because you see when I went to the hospital to visit him the doctor said that they did not give him more than a week because of how the cancer had overtaken his intestines but here we are amen over 12 months later still alive amen bless God I testify of these things just to encourage you this morning and to let you know that the same Jesus that did these things amen bless God can do something for you he can help I also remember that a mother in the village from which I came brought to me amen her son and she said to me just as this 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 man she said this son amen he suffers from epilepsy Amen. Bless God. And she says that sometimes he's at home, normal, and then he, he's stricken with this case. And he falls, amen, and, and damages himself and all of that. He can be riding his bike. He can be going, walking down the road. It j never tells you where it's going to attack you. And she said every month, amen, as a rule, he gets an attack every month. And she said the attacks come primarily around like the ending of the month. And I remembered that I was at home and I said, you know what? I'm going to go down there and pray for him. And I was all Pentecostal-like. And that's why, amen, I learned a valuable lesson that it is not by might and it's not by power. It is by the Spirit of God. And God taught me a lesson that day that it is not man. It is not your exertion. It is the Spirit. It is He that does it. And when I prayed, I kid you not, I was disappointed because there was no reaction. There was nothing, no lightning no thunder you know sometimes when you pray for some of these kinds of situations you expect to see some react there was nothing and i remember leaving that space feeling disappointed and amen and all as if it was i who was doing the thing but it took amen and uh, uh, an entire month amen until i saw the mother on the street amen bless god and she said to me pastor i forgot to tell you that since you prayed for my son he has never had an attack amen bless god amen bless god never had an attack again in jesus name and i want to say i'm sharing these things with you this morning to let you know that it is still not human might that gets the thing done, but Jesus. And Jesus, this, that same Jesus that did all those things is the same Jesus that we've been preaching and teaching about. Amen. And somebody here today, this morning, you have some matter. Whether it is a big matter, a small matter, whether it is a complex matter, or it is a simple matter, Jesus can help. Glory to God. And I will tell you, amen, he can help because he cares. Glory to God. He cares he cares he cares he cares about people amen bless god there are so many people that have all kinds of concerns and all of that and every time they brought somebody to jesus every time they came with some kind of concern jesus always treated with the matter he didn't ask them about their family amen necessarily in other words he was not concerned about where they came from necessarily their walks of life he was not concerned about whether they were believers or not amen meaning whether they were walking righteously or not amen bless god he just was there to help people that were in need he cared and if jesus could be so caring to persons amen that he had no direct connection with persons that there is no biblical history that they were walking right in fact some of them were pagan some of them came from all kinds of different life different culture amen if jesus could do that much less you and i who claim to be children of god amen bless who are the heirs of salvation amen we have him and we call him abba father we have received the spirit of adoption according to romans bless the name of the lord amen and because of that 
we have a right to blessing and healing and all of that and i'm saying to you today that that situation that you have amen dealing with with right now that jesus cares about that situation he cares about it amen bless god there are some things in our lives we can't tell it to people because of the intricacy of the thing amen we can't reveal that to people but thankfully our savior our lord knows exactly what we are dealing with amen and i speak to you this morning this is a thus said the lord moment for somebody that that particular matter that you have struggled with for so long that particular matter that is bringing so much hurt and bringing so much disappointment and dismay amen that caused you to sink into the abyss of frustration and you're stressed out about it i want you to know this morning that jesus cares about that and he can and will help in jesus name he cares he cares he cares he cares he cares amen bless god about every aspect of your life we are told amen uh, somebody went to lens to see that the very grain of hair on our heads amen are numbered amen which speaks about god's intricate knowledge of all the issues amen that we go through and we face i want you to be in coverage today and i want you to get ready because we are going to pray right here today in jesus name for whatever your circumstances he cares and in this passage the other thing that we see amen was his condition he gave them a condition he gave the man a condition he said amen if those can believe all things are possible to them that believe glory to god and this is something you know this is something you've heard but i want to rehash it in your mind and spirit right now the condition for your deliverance and for your breakthrough and for his help amen is to believe and if those can believe amen if you could believe it right now if you could believe it this morning this tuesday morning amen if you can believe on this platform amen this live facebook and instagram platform and youtube if you can believe amen you can get the help that you are seeking in jesus name i sense the anointing and the grace upon my life this morning to join in prayer with you all i'm asking you to do is to believe amen bless god amen and you have believed before you have believed before you have you have had god do things for you before so it's not something strange but i know sometimes dependent on the gravity of the situation dependent on how long you've been praying about it dependent on amen bless god on all different extenuating circumstances the belief system can be shaken from time to time but this very moment this moment right now i am asking you amen can you believe can you believe for that breakthrough can you believe for your healing can you believe for your house for your property can you believe for the salvation of your sibling can you believe amen bless god for your development can you believe for your opportunity can you believe amen bless god for the favor that god amen has in can you believe amen bless god although the sickness is chronic although it's something that may have been running in your family although the diagno the, the, the diagnosis is very 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 amen this this, this this it's distressing amen bless god because it is it is and, and we can't we're not arguing away we're not arguing away the reality of what is on the paper but we are saying that with god all things are possible and jesus told them listen to me if you can only believe this thing can be be possible all things are possible all things are possible to them that believe and i'm saying to you this morning amen my brothers and my sisters push aside the disappointment of the past push aside the many prayers you have prayed push aside who did this and who did what push aside that for a while and just believe right now amen if you can believe it is possible if you can believe god can miraculously provide for you today if you can believe if you can believe glory to god this is a word amen from god to you and god is saying i am so concerned about you and i have come amen i have made provisions for you to receive help today in jesus name all you have to do is to believe just believe it and as long as you believe it you will receive it in jesus name and we are told bless god amen that jesus spoke and rebuked the spirit 
that was hindering the child and blessed God and a great victory was won. But the victory was, it was determined. Amen. Bless God. It was annexed to. It was connected to the belief. Amen. Of the father. Are you hearing what I'm saying? And so, amen. Bless God this morning. All it takes. All it takes. All it. And I'm not trying to simplify it. I'm not trying to make it sound. Amen. Bless God. Something that's very easy to do. But I'm telling you, it is doable. Glory to God. Amen. Bless God. I want you to believe right now. And, and because you believe, I want you to begin to post even right now that which you're believing for. Whatever you're believing for, if it's something that is not too sensitive, I want you to post it now because we're getting ready to pray in Jesus' name. If those can believe, all things are possible to them that believe. Jesus Christ, the Savior of the world, is right here. He's here, my brothers and sisters, in this con congregating that we have here, this virtual meeting, he is here. Amen. Bless God. And he's here with the capacity. And that's the final thing. Glory to God. Amen. Bless God. We saw that he cared and we saw he had a condition and the condition was amen for us to believe and his capacity, his capacity, his ability to deal with the thing in Jesus name. And if Jesus could deal with that kind of situation and what we have described to you, then he can certainly deal with yours. I have seen him do things that baffles. I have seen him do things that blows your mind. You just cannot understand it. Amen. Bless God. And he has the capacity. He will make a way. He will cause people to find you. He will shift things around so that you can get what you desire in the name of Jesus. Can you believe it? In Jesus' name. Do you believe it? Do you believe it? In Jesus' name. Whatever it is you're believing for right now. In Jesus' name. Bless God. Let us post and let us believe God. We're getting ready to pray. We're getting ready to pray. Glory to God. Amen. With him all things are possible. With him all things are possible. With him all things are possible. It, with him all things are possible. If you can believe all things are possible to them that believe. Glory to God in Jesus' name. Blessed be the mighty name of the Lord our God. We give him praise and thanks for his grace and for his mercies, which he extends towards us, the children of men. I am getting ready to pray. I am waiting, bless God, a few more moments so that others of you could post, amen, what it is you believe in for. Hallelujah to the Lamb. Glory to God. If those can believe, all things are possible to them that believe. Glory to God. He's concerned. He's concerned about the stress that you're under. He's concerned about the pressure that you're under. He's concerned about the constant frustration. Bless the name of the Lord. Amen. Bless God. At the end of every month, you're depressed because, amen, money is funny. Amen. Glory to God. He's concerned. Soon. Bless God about the pressure that you've been put under. Those that are trying to make your life a living hell. He's concerned about that. He's concerned, bless God, amen, about your physical frame. He's concerned about how much you want to do. Amen. And you're just trusting, amen, for a resource to get it done. He's concerned about all of that. He sees every threat against your life. He sees every action of evil that is leveled amen against you he sees bless the lord and this morning if you can believe you can receive bless god that which he said he has the ability to do in jesus name he helps he helps he helps he helps jesus has come to help this morning amen he can help he will help glory to god he has helped me so many times i speak amen as one blessed god that has received help this is not reported speech glory to God amen bless God but he makes a way hallelujah to the lamb some of the most monumental issues he has helped bless the Lord I have stories upon stories of him helping glory to God I've seen him help barren women I've seen him bless God help people amen out of some of the most difficult circumstances I remember bless God not too long ago a young lady came to me. She said, Pastor, I am HIV positive. Glory to God. And everybody know, amen, whenever you hear that, it is almost like a death sentence. She said, but I believe, glory to God, I believe that Jesus Christ can heal. And I said to her, if those can believe him, once you believe it, amen, glory to God. And I remember praying for this young lady. Amen. I met her a couple weeks later. Amen. Because I told her to make sure and go back and check. Make sure and go back. Amen. Bless God and do a, another check. 
check and I met her in the mall and she told me that she was completely healed. Amen. Bless God because Jesus is a helper. Are you hearing what I'm saying? He's a helper, my brothers and sisters. He can help you. He can help you. He can help you. He can help you this morning. He can help you with every burden, help you with every problem, help you with every concern. In Jesus' mighty name, glory to God. Amen. We are getting ready to pray. We're getting ready to pray. We're getting ready to pray. Hallelujah to the Lamb. Jesus is here to help. Glory to God. He's here to help. And I believe, bless the Lord, that He can do it. I believe He will do it in Jesus. I believe that we're going to have tremendous testimony is after we pray here today glory to god i believe it i believe it and we're getting ready hallelujah to the name lord i give you thanks and i give you praise first of all amen for putting this word in my heart so that i can share it with your people father god every single person that is here that has amen represented amen put forth some concern some need some desire something that they want from you you see it in fact you saw it before we were even posted it posting it god God. You knew who would be here this morning. You knew, Father God, who will be here for the first time. You knew who, Lord God, will join in this morning. And so we give you thanks and praise. And Lord, your word has gone out. Amen. Your word, which is the testimony of your capacity to do the things. Your word, which represents your ability to do the things. And we know that faith is supposed to come. Faith is realized. Faith gets life from what we hear. And Lord, we are rehashing the things that you did this morning. And so your people, Father God, are believing, expecting for you to come through. So now, oh God, in the name of Jesus, Father, I speak over every kind of sickness, every kind of ailment. In the name of Jesus Christ, I rebuke them today. I say unto you, my brothers and sisters, receive, receive your healing in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name, be healed from the crown of your head. Amen, amen. I drive out every alien thing from your body. I speak to things that have been running in your bloodline. In the name of Jesus Christ, I rebuke them and send them back to hell in Jesus' name. Jesus mighty name. I proclaim your wholeness. I proclaim optimum health in the name of Jesus that it will no longer affect your family and affect your bloodline in the name of Jesus Christ. Glory to God. Every kind of condition, every kind of cancer, every every spirit of infirmity, I cast them out today. Amen. And I proclaim your healing. Amen. Those of you that have conditions right now, pains in your body right now as we speak, I rebuke those pains. I rebuke them. I rebuke growths. I rebuke masses. Amen. Things, things on your body and in your body. I rebuke them in Jesus' name and command. Amen. Bless God them to dissipate in Jesus' name. I attack and amen. Blood disorders and amen bless what kidney issues and heart issues bless the liver issues lungs issues in the name of jesus i speak to every organ in your body and i say be made whole now in jesus name and according to your faith be it unto you i speak to those financial issues this morning financial issues bills to be paid some of you been owed money bless god eh, by the state owed money by the company amen with whom you work owed money by people by friends by relatives amen bless god financial issues across the board glory to god don't know amen how you're going to eat don't know how we're going to pay this bill don't know how we're going to take care of the family amen i pray amen over these situations this morning in a single mother amen bless god no wondering where 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 the next meal in the name of jesus i pray for supernatural financial intervention supernatural let the angels go forth lord god and release 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 finances that have been locked up in jesus name lord even in this time when it seems difficult because of the conditions around us we pray that you will make a way miraculously as you has done in the past as you have done in the past that you will make a way father that monies will flow into the hands of your people that that which is rightfully theirs they will receive i pray for promotion i pray for bonuses glory to god 
supernatural financial release in the name of Jesus. I pray for business opportunities for expansion in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I say unto you now, amen, according to your faith, release, receive it in Jesus' name. Those of you that have issues, amen, family members, bless God that, amen, that you desire for them to come into the kingdom, husbands, wives, children, amen, bless God, in-laws and, amen, cousins and extended family, in the name of Jesus Christ, according to your faith, let it be done. Let it be done. Spirit of God, move, move across, bless God, this platform and visit these individuals wherever they are. Oh, God, Father, confront them with the message one more time and let them turn their lives over to you in the name of Jesus Christ. Bring them back, put hooks in their jaws if necessary and bring them back to the kingdom in the name of Jesus Christ. We thank you for doing this now. We pray, Lord, for family issues and marriages and amen, bless God and break down in family members and siblings and all of that in the name of Jesus. Lord God, you are the common denominator. And Father God, somebody's believing for the restoration of a marital relationship. Somebody's believing for the restoration of a family relationship. I pray now that there'll be a restoring grace, hallelujah to the Lamb, that the restoring grace of the supernatural Lord will in intervene in these matters in the name of Jesus Christ and according to the fate of your people let it be done in the name of Jesus we give you thanks we give you praise we give you honor we give you glory Lord God and every other concern every other need every other desire hallelujah amen bless god looking for opportunities looking for favor looking for employment glory to god in this season glory to god hallelujah i pray in jesus name that as their heart is towards you and as they believe it as they believe it that they will receive it in jesus name my brothers and sisters according to the word of god that which you believe you shall receive in jesus name and lord we give you praise I give you thanks. I give you honor. I give you glory. There is none to compare with you. Great is the Lord and greatly to be praised. I thank you for your word. I thank you for your grace. I thank you for your mercies. I thank you for your kindness. I thank you for your love for your people. I thank you for sending this word to them this morning that they would be elevated, that they will be encouraged in Jesus' name. And Lord God, let it be done. Let it be done. Let it be done. Let it be done according to your word, according to your will, and according to your purpose in Jesus' might name amen 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 hallelujah to the lamb bless the lord jesus can help jesus is helping and i am prepared i'm excited for testimonies of what he has done and what he is doing make sure you inbox me and let me know glory to god some of you from very from today you will see a change from today you will receive good tidings in jesus name bless the lord some of you your physical body have received your touch already glory to god amen bless god check yourself that pain is no longer there glory to god in jesus name because this is the kind of god that we pray to and this is the god that we believe amen bless god will hear us and answer in g if you can believe all things are possible to them that believe glory to god we give him thanks and we give him praise for his goodness and for his mercies towards us amen 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 somebody bless the lord with me this morning bless the lord with me amen bless god he is worthy to be praised from the rising of the sun to the going down of the same let the name of the lord be glorified hallelujah to the lamb blessed be his mighty name amen 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 glory to god amen Praise the Lord. Amen. Of course, bless the Lord. Amen. Before we close the program, we always invite you to sow into the ministry. Amen. Bless God. Hallelujah to the Lamb. We invite you to sow into Victory Place International Trinidad. Bless the Lord. And as the Lord will lead you, please. Amen. Feel free. I know you have been ministered unto based on your own testimony. Many of you have sent messages, amen, about what the Lord has done and all that. You have a responsibility biblically, amen, as you receive spiritual things to reciprocate and to be a blessing and a source of inspiration through your gifts. Remember what we said yesterday, amen, when we talked about how God 
makes provision for that which he approves I believe that this ministry has been approved by God and so God is using you, uh, amen, to be a blessing and a source of inspiration. The Bible says that the people, amen, they strengthen their hands and the word strengthen talks about making something become urgent and encouraging. They strengthen their hands with gold and silver and physical resources that will benefit the project, that will help advance the purpose of God. And I say to you, as I've been saying it for the past few days and past weeks for that matter, that what you give, this is good ground that you are sowing into. And God will certainly, amen, reciprocate to you in Jesus' name. Bless the Lord. So use the uh, platform that is there. You can go to Fund Me TNT and you can make your donations that way. Amen. Bless God. If you live in the U.S., bless the Lord. And you want to use Cash App or Zelle or any one of these, amen. Bless God. Uh, if you have not used it before, you can send me a message. I will tell you how you can do that in G. And those of you local. Amen. Bless the Lord. The Lord ministers to you. Amen. Praise the Lord. Feel free to sow into the ministry. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. This afternoon, I am doing going a walk through to the, uh, the, the facility that we will be holding our services. We hope, we're trusting God and we're praying and we want you to continue to pray for us that we will find favor. Amen. It is a church. And let me just share this with you. It is, it is a church. And I, I remember I've been saying to you, that the hardware for the physical church, the chairs, the speakers, and all those things, amen, bless God, are in the U.S. And those things were donated to us, so they are in the U.S. And because of the shipping and all that stuff, we are unable to get them with the lockdown and all that within the time that we wanted. So what we are trying to do now is to find a church space that we can use in the interim in Jesus' name as the Lord will allow us. A church space that is already set up with all the infrastructure to meet with the um, the post, the COVID um, protocols and so on. And we have found a space, we are trusting God that we are still in the negotiations that it will work out, amen, that we would be able to use this space. And the sooner we do that, then we will launch the church physically, the physical place here in Trinidad in jesus name so i'm gonna go this afternoon to take some pictures and so on and do another walk through and hopefully share some of that with you so you could see what it is we are doing and so you will know where your gifts are going as well notwithstanding that we are sustained by the gifts amen they that preach the gospel must live by it that's biblical amen i know there are people that have odd ideas about you know pastors and and all of that receiving money but amen this is what i do full time in jesus name and you you know those of you that are spiritual and are thus minded know what this is all about so again i encourage you amen to sow as the lord will direct you and we shall receive it with thanksgiving notwithstanding that it is an investment that you are making in your own life and development i'm waiting for testimonies now testimonies of what the lord has done today amen from today right I'm looking, I'm expecting, I'm, I'm hoping, I'm expecting things in my inbox in Jesus' name. All right? So, I want you to have a fantastic Tuesday. Amen. Bless the Lord. We next, we our next meeting day here, amen, is, um, well, tomorrow night, Wednesday night is our Bible study at 7 p.m. And then, of course, our next devotion is on Thursday morning glory to god so i look forward to seeing you all right have a super fantastic day take care of yourself i trust that you've been encouraged and look forward to touching base with you again bye bye peace i'm gone